All right, let's go ahead and solve the following problem. Let's, first thing we need to do though is find a common denominator. And what I can do is I can break up 4x squared minus nine into 2x minus three and 2x plus three. So the nice thing about this is it looks like this is gonna be my least common denominator because if you look here, uh, each part left side of the equation has one part of this. So how we're gonna do this is we'll have two so 2x plus 3 is missing 2x minus 3, and then plus 4 times 2x plus 3. And this is all over 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. Okay, so the right side of the equation is already set up. So it's just 5x plus 6 over 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. And since they have the same denominators, we can just cancel those out. Now it's time to solve. So we'll have 4x minus 6 plus 8x plus 12 equals 5x plus 6. Combine like terms, 12x plus 6 equals 5x plus 6. All right, subtract 5x. Oops, 12x. It's 5x, subtract 6, and we end up with 7x equals 0. Divide by seven x equals zero, and that's it. And um, we can test that really quick. So two over two thirds, so two two times zero is zero, plus um, negative four over three, the the negative three, and then this ends up being six over negative nine. So uh, this ends up being negative two thirds because two minus four is negative two over three. And then negative 6 over 9 can reduce to negative 2 thirds. So that proves that x equals 0 is the correct answer. All right. I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.